Now, after a very successful United States visit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi received an astounding welcome in Egypt's Cairo. Prime Minister has kick-started his day two in Egypt and will now be visiting the 1,000-year-old Cairo's historic Al-Hakim Mosque. He will also meet the Egyptian president. This meeting with President Sisi will be followed by a delegation-level talks, signing of many MOUs and also press statements. Prime Minister will later be also visiting the Helioposis War Cemetery. He will then leave for New Delhi later today. Now, on the first day of the visit, he held high-level discussions with his Egyptian counterpart. Both the Prime Ministers spoke at length about strengthening cooperation in trade and investment, renewable energy, green hydrogen, the IT industry, digital payments platforms, pharmaceuticals, and also spoke about how people-to-people -people ties between both the countries can be strengthened. Today, I was honored, I mean, a lot to meet uh, His Excellency Prime Minister Modi, and it was a very nice and interesting meeting. Uh, in fact, actually, he reflects the wise leadership and uh, for a country, for a big country like India, our meeting today is actually our second interaction as we have met earlier in Delhi in one of the Sufi conferences there. And also it reflects that the wise policies that are being adopted by Prime Minister Modi in bringing coexistence between the various factions, I mean, there in India at the religious level, I must say that we have also, I mean, strong cooperation between us and India and we are looking forward to further enhancing and deepening this co cooperation in the future. We have a lot to learn from India's private sector. Uh, under Prime Minister Modi's leadership, the private sector in India grew tremendously uh, in the world of infrastructure and engineering and manufacturing. And these are the sectors with, that we specialize in. So uh, I had the privilege of having uh, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with His Excellency where he gave me a lot of invaluable insight and advice. Uh, that I hope to take back to my company and, uh, and start working. I believe uh, both countries have a lot to gain with each other's uh, partnership and it was very uh, encouraging to hear the announcement early in January that India and Egypt have elevated the partnership to be a strategic partnership and this visit reaffirms that intent and I'm sure this will help both the countries grow their business relation, their cultural relation, and also uh, result in a lot more growth and prosperity for both the countries. Egyptian culture and Indian culture somehow matches very well. Both the, both the cultures are old civilized uh, people. And uh, I'm sure uh, not only strategic partnership, but we'll have some uh, more, you know, fundamental mutual partnership. Uh, we'll get stronger with Egypt. Egyptians are very warm. We love their warmth, and that's what's keeping us here. And we want to grow this bond further. We are super excited to have uh, PM Modi ji with us. And if given a chance, we'll be uh, talking to him. And I work with the World Health Organization, so we would like to see how health is uh, progressing in India and how we can contribute from here. And uh, super excited to have him. Shahira Amin is now joining me from Cairo in Egypt. Shahira, a very important visit by the Prime Minister. The last 24 hours have been very eventful. He's got a grand welcome in Egypt. It's an action-packed visit, as you rightly said. Um, uh, Prime Minister Modi arrived at the El Hakim Amr El Lemos uh, a short while ago. He's still inside and will be heading to meet with President Abdel Fattah Sisi shortly. This is a historic mosque. It's one of the oldest in Egypt. It's actually the fourth oldest. Uh, dating back 1,000 years from the time of the Fatimids. But it's also the second largest after the Ibn Tulun Mosque with a total area of around 13,500 square meters. And it's distinguished by its rectangular shape. It's also very representative of Fatimid architecture. Let me show you. Well, I, I'm not sure if you can see, but that's we the We were able to see it, Shaira. You can see it. It is once again. 
Well, Shaira, this, uh, you know, is the Al Hakim oh, Mosque, Al as you said, the fourth uh, oldest mosque in Egypt. Uh, yes, it's the fourth oldest and the second largest. And we are now seeing members of the Dawood Bora community coming out of the mosque after the Prime Minister's visit. They're here in very large numbers. Uh, this mosque has very special significance because it has been renovated by the Dawood Bora community. Uh, they started the restoration renovation work back in 2017 and the mosque was reopened earlier this year in February. So it took that long to restore the mosque. Uh, the fact that Prime Minister Modi is visiting sends a very, well, it sends a message of support to the Bora community who themselves also yesterday came in very large numbers to greet him and welcome him to Egypt. Um, the rest of the day will be spent in talks with President Sisi and then there will be a visit to the Heliopolis War Cemetery where around 4,000 Indian soldiers are buried. Uh, they fought in World War I, defending Egypt against Ottoman forces. Uh, and that will be the culmination of this whirlwind visit, uh, just two days after such a long time. Uh, Egyptians will be very sorry to see Prime Minister Modi go, but they're hopeful that the visit will give impetus to the strategic partnership uh, that was launched during President Sisi's visit in India in January. So let's hope the ties get stronger, uh, deeper, and uh, that it will reflect positively on both our peoples, a win-win for Indians and Egyptians. Thank you, Shahira. Shahira, joining us from Cairo in Egypt, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has visited the fourth oldest mosque in Egypt.